Hey everybody, it's Crazy and Carol. How you doing? Right now, I'm at Atlantic City for the New Jersey State Championships. So, right now I'm at a competition, clearly, um, and I realize I don't have a video for you guys because I've been at the competition all weekend. Um, it is a two-day competition, so I've been here uh, since yesterday and then today. But I thought, because I didn't have a video, I could just quickly show you guys this modification I have. So this is, I don't know if you could consider it a modification, but I did technically make it. So in my last video, I made a one by one out of scoop centers, and obviously all I did was just take out the centers um, and make a one by one out of it, but I still had all of the pieces of the core and the corners left over. So I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna put it together and see what happens. And I got this. It is technically fully functional. Um, it's literally just a um, centerless skew. Um, and it looks super cool. It's like a skeleton type thing. Let me show you it up close. So here it is. It's literally just a skew um, with just the corners. It's fully functional. Um, I really like the way it looks. Um, it's kind of confusing at first, and it may seem like a complicated mod, but really, it's pretty simple. I literally just took out the centers. I'm just going to do a demo solve. Uh, I can solve a skew, meaning I can solve this, because uh, it's actually simpler, you don't have to worry about where the centers are, just the corners. So I'm really bad at skew, but I can still solve one. So I got the first layer, um, and now I just have to... And there we go, it's solved. So really quickly, um, if you do want to make one, I can just show you how. So basically you get the centers and remove the base. Literally just unscrew the screws and take this part out. Then reassemble the skew like normal and just place the center pieces or the internal center pieces where the centers would typically be. And boom, once you have put in all the pieces, you literally get the skew skeleton is what I'm calling it. But anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video that I just did because I wanted a video out for you guys, but I'm currently at a competition. I think the Scube Skeleton looks really cool, and if you want to make one, it's pretty simple. If you do make one, let me know how it goes in the comment section down below. But anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time on Crazy Pink Carol.